This is Webflow's marketing website in 2022, and this is it in 2021, and in 2019, 2017, 2014, all the way back to whoever owned it in 2001. We can see the whole timeline of the growth of Webflow or any website and the design changes and decisions that were made to the website as they scaled. And we can do it all using the Wayback Machine. So if we put in any website, we can see a snapshot of what it looked like two years ago or five years ago or 10 years ago. And this can be handy to see the kind of changes that get made to marketing sites as they scale or change over time, including for example, other websites in a specific industry and how they've changed. Or for a client, you might find their competitor's website and see how they've adjusted their marketing in the past couple of years. And in the same way, we can see certain design or UX choices that get tested and then sometimes eventually binned, like Intercom's homepage, that used expressive illustrations in 2020 and then moved to a heavily story-based intro in 2021 and then to a more standard hero style in 2022. Or to see Drift's truly chaotic new brand style compared to their old style. The fact is that the web moves at a crazy pace, so it's pretty likely that any site that you can think of is changing right along with it. And sometimes those changes can signify some sort of change in a business or product that makes sense to keep track of. So if you're starting up a business of some sort and you're trying to emulate parts of a current business that's already five or 10 years down the line, it might make sense to instead look at where they started and not where they currently are. And the Wayback Machine helps us do that. Now keep in mind that depending on the website you search for, you're gonna see more or less captures based on how much that site was scraped over the years. And so popular websites are gonna have more captures than websites that get visited less often, which means that the earliest version of my portfolio captured was from 2018, back when I did web, mobile, graphic design, 3D, basically anything I thought looked pretty. So feel free to plug in a couple of websites that are relevant to you, and you might just learn a thing or two about the art of scaling and adapting over time.